Hey guys, it's Psycho Hawk here, and welcome to an episode of Career Mode. I'm still on vacation. Uh, I'm actually recording this right after I recorded uh, episode 7, so um, obviously it's going to go up later. But again, I don't have my headset with me, so I do apologize um, for the bad uh, audio quality. But we're, we we sim a game against uh, Real Valladolid, and uh, we get a 3 0 comfortable win. And uh, it's February 15th, and you know that what that means? That means the Euro League knockout stages are starting. Now, if you remember, we barely got through uh, into the knockout stages after some really, really uh, interesting group stage, um, you know, games. So, um, and uh, it seems like we've got a match up against Schalke 04, the German side, who are actually a very, very good team uh, with some nice young players like Draxler, Bucky, obviously, I'm saying that because I'm Finnish. But uh, no, but in all honesty, obviously they have Huntelar, they have um, well, Farfan, they, ha they have some great players in, in defense as well. They have they have Hervides and Papadopoulos, and, and anyway, they have some great players. But, and uh, so it was always going to be a tough matchup playing against Schalke 04 in the round of 16 in the Europa League. And it doesn't start off very well as Rafael gets a goal in the 6th minute after Huntelar absolutely demolishes my defender, plays it to Rafael, and he just takes a shot and scores. So um, again... Uh, it was one of those things where it's it's not the start you want for your Euro League knockout stage campaign. But as you can see, I haven't cut the gameplay, and you could know what that means. That means a goal is coming as Nahar plays the ball to Marin Ruiz. Ruiz plays it to Lukaku. Lukaku plays it to Muniain. And Muniain, what? I thought it was going to score that. Oh, yes, he does. <laughs> uh, some absolutely fabulous play there. Again, Marin Ruiz being one of the main guys to set up that goal. Um, who, you know, if you don't know who he is, go back and watch the last episode. Because if you missed last episode, there was some crazy transaction going on. So you have to go and watch uh, season, uh, season 3, episode 7, if you're going to watch this episode. But anyway, Muniain manages, after a bad finish, manages to kind of push the ball into the net. And in the 15th minute, Muniain uses his pace on that wing. He gets tackled. How is that not a penalty? I'm sorry, but he just gets pushed off the ball. But anyway, Ruiz plays it to Lukaku, and Lukaku, boom. <laughs> Who needs a penalty when you can just smash it with your right foot? And that gives him his 19th goal in all competitions. Uh, so this isn't, for Lukaku, it hasn't been as, um, as amazing as last season, where he scored, I think, like 35 goals or something. But he's about, so... He's like 16 goals away from that now, and we're in the middle of February, so he, he'll still have a very good season, but it's nowhere close to being as amazing as last season was for him. Um, you know, because mostly due to his um, form early in the season wasn't as good, but he's caught up now, and he's, you know, he's still one of the best. He's still probably the best player in my team, I, I'd say, next to Casemiro and Muniain. But anyway, I have a free kick here, and uh, I'm going to take this in the 90th minute with the Casemiro. And I just thought, why not give it a shot? And uh, I hit the wall, but uh, that doesn't matter because we managed to get a 2-1 home win against Schalke 04 in the EuroLeague. And obviously, because it's a home game, they have an away goal. So uh, that wasn't the greatest of things, but we do manage to get the win after uh, they get the early goal. So that was the most important thing. And that means if we go into uh, the next game against Schalke, um, which we're going to play after this Atletico Madrid game, and we get a 0-0 tie, that's going to be enough. So we're going to go into that game extremely defensive. But before that, we still have to focus on the, uh, the league. And we're playing Atletico Madrid. And uh, obviously, they're an amazing team. With Obviously, Falcao's now moved to Monaco. Uh, but uh, they still have Falcao in this game. And he's, you know, he's one, probably the best striker on the game, uh, along with uh, Slatan and RVP. But... So uh, he's he's gonna be extremely dangerous, and we're gonna have to we're gonna have to counter his uh, uh you know his play style. But but we uh, make some changes because you know we have a lot of tired players, and still uh, even though this is an important game in the league, um, I have to rest some players so we're ready to go for the Euro League game as well against Schalke, uh, in uh, you know half a week away from now. And uh, here you can see just how good Falcao is. Uh, absolutely no speed on the ball and he has no speed he's his feet are stuck on the ground and he puts a header right into the post and it just falls off and I was extremely lucky but then they have some horrible defending I whip the ball in and Benzia is there uh, uh, with a great header again but uh, their keeper is there to pick up the scraps and I was really unlucky not to score that but again Falcao is through and uh, you know I, I, I shouldn't be allowed to let him through like that um, you know he's too good of a player to be given that much space and he absolutely Punish it, and he punishes me for it. That's as simple as that. But thankfully, I uh, I think that's uh, Malangu there, who manages just to nick the ball through to Casemiro there. Um, there you can see 
just manages to reach it and Casemiro just again manages to put the ball through the keeper's legs in the 45th minute to make it 1-1 and that was an extremely extremely important uh, goal because that meant we could go in, uh, into the second half all level which meant that one goal would be enough to give us the win. Now we have a free kick in the 58th minute here which Benz is going to take and uh, that's not a bad strike actually. Benz is good at free kicks, probably one of the best in my team and uh, a decent strike which the keeper catches though so so that was unlucky but uh, anyway so this game was one of those where it's kinda you know up and down no one's really the better team until Kurzakov is put through no Kurzakov you're shit oh never mind you're not um, <laughs> Kurzakov is one of those players he has a lot of pace he's good on the ball but but everything else on him is pretty shit you know he's one of those uh, free agents that I signed and I when I when I finished that into the post I was like no so typical the only player uh, who wouldn't score this on my team was Kurzhakov, but thankfully we get a lucky balance and he manages to slot it in with his left foot into the empty net from the rebound, which was extremely important because I would have been pissed if we wouldn't have scored that. Thankfully we did, and that meant that we managed to get the 2-1 winning as Atletico Madrid after a 2-1 win of Schalke in the Euro League. So things were looking really, really good for us at uh, at this very moment in time. With Casemiro and Kurzhakov on the score sheets, not uh, you know the t two players you expect to score. But uh, you know, uh, except for that Falcao goal where we were defending badly, you know, we didn't, we, I didn't give Falcao the space he needed, and um, that was extremely good because if you give him space, you're gonna be fucked. There you guys can see Kurzhakov saying he's enjoying his football at the moment, which is nice to see, but he's not playing in Schalke. Let's be honest, you know, because this, this is an extremely important game here. But again, like I said, if we get a zero-zero tie, we were going through. And uh, even even so, basically, even if we tie the game one one two two three three, we were going through. However, if they beat us one nil, they were going through. So you know things were kind of, you know what what are we gonna do? So we said, oh, I do play Kurzhakov. Never mind, I do apologize. I play Kurzhakov, and uh, I, I I rest. Um, Welcome to you. I rest Ma Marin Ruiz, but uh, but anyway, at this point in time, we we were playing defensive and we were looking for you know I put it I think I put it in defensive in the early stages, but uh, you know looking for the nil nil, but we don't need to look for a nil nil because Lukaku is there and in the 30th minute he gives us a one nil lead and three one lead on aggregate and things were looking extremely good at this very moment in time as uh, we get an away goal which meant at this mo point that Schalke had scored two goals to put the game into extra time. So two goals wouldn't even win the game. And again in the 33rd minute, just a bit after this, Lukaku breaks through their defense once again to make it 2-0, which meant that Schalke now need three goals to put it in extra time and four goals to win the game. And uh, at this point, things were looking, things were looking amazing, you know? Uh, sorry, sorry it's impossible for them to put the game into extra time they had to score four goals they had to win us at this point four two to go through and it was looking extremely unlikely and uh, for some reason in this game I was finding it way too easy to break down the Schalke defense it w this was one of those easy games for me when everything's just going right and again Lukaku steals the ball from their defense and he's running into the box he crosses it in and Muniain is there to volley it into the back of the net in the 39th minute and that's three goals in nine minutes making it that they have to score none less than five goals to go through and at this point I thought damn we're done I don't even have to play anymore Three goals, Lukaku scoring twice and Munian once in uh, nine minutes, made the <laughs> aggregate score 5 1. And, uh, you know, if we would have left it at 5 1 aggregate score, I would have been extremely happy and it would have made for a very attractive, <laughs> very attractive scoreline. But, however, they come back and score one, but in the 78th minute, and that was not nearly enough. You know, they still had to score four goals. The only reason I was pissed that they scored is because it made the scoreline look uh, less attractive. And obviously, they get some lucky bounces there. Miguel Veloso, the Portuguese defensive midfielder, who, by the way, has an absolutely fantastic uh, left foot uh, for free kicks. Um, managed to score and again in the 90th minute, I think, uh, 85th minute, sorry, Rafael scores to make it 3-2 and 5-3 on aggregate. But again, that didn't matter at all. It just made the scoreline look less attractive. And uh, But in all honesty, you know, in the second half, I wasn't even playing, in all honesty, in this game, we absolutely demolished Schalke. But that was amazing. You know, who cares about the scoreline? We're through into the quarterfinals of the EuroLeague uh, after demolishing Schalke. And that, that's really looking good because Schalke are a good team. And the fact that we made it through... Um, sorry, I think we're in the round of 16 now. That was the round of 32. The fact that we're in the round of 16 now after playing so, so well against Schalke is really boding well for the future. 
But anyway, guys, that's going to draw us to the end of this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. We're through in the Euro League. We got a very, very good win against Atletico Madrid. So things are looking bright for the future. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you have, please be sure to hit that like button. If we get a 10 likes, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, and I would love you guys if we could hit 10 likes. So yeah, it's been Psycho Horak here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Atletico Madrid 4, Saint-Étienne 1. Schalke 2, Sporting Hion 3.